this is our situation if y'all can see in there the uh, caliper is up off of the rotor and it's making this truck sound like a choo-choo going down the road what the problem is you can't really tell because this wheels on but there's a bolt that goes in right there but um of course it fell out or something because it's not there I had went to the hardware and, and asked for the part you know just from what I thought it was and this is not what it is at all so I figured I'll just get into this uh, passenger side here take that bolt out go there and ask for one of them or two or whatever and uh, you know just get a new one so I could replace that and then put that one back in and of course you know taking off the lug nuts you know but I got them all loose except for this one that didn't want to come loose now I have to cut it off and I was turning it trying to get it off and it broke so now we, I gotta cut that off and I'm probably gonna have to replace the stud so that's always fun Another day, got the wheel off again, and uh, I'm going to take off the caliper and then the rotor, and then try and bang out that uh, lug bolt, and uh, yeah, then just move on. Once that's, this here side's done, then I could do the side that was bad to begin with. <sighs> oh yeah, caliper is now off. If you own a Ford and you don't have a toolbox, or in my case a tool bag, you're probably doing something wrong. Alright, just open this up here and grab one of your zip recruiters. Got her hung up in a special way to get her out of the way. And I'll... Now we get to move on to this guy. The easiest way I've found to get these out is with one of these, you know. And there it goes. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to want to clean this up here because all the metal shavings. And then installation will be the same. You just pound it in the other way. Only thing is there's not much room, so that's going to be tricky. That's the new one. And that's the new one compared to the one that I monkeyed all up there. It's, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need, I'm going to need my other hand, but you get what I'm doing. So, yeah, that ain't going to work because uh, there's no way you're really getting in there. Ah. Uh, so I grabbed myself a bunch of washers. I got about four of these real thick ones. I couldn't find no more, so I found these two, and that was about the closest. I'm going to tighten this down. And as that goes farther in, this should come in this way. And we should be set. So we're about to find out. We're going to hope that don't fall down. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm a tickle on the slow side. I go to tighten this down, and the whole hub spins. Let me go put her in four-wheel, and uh, then put her in park, and that should work a little better. Alrighty, I tightened her down. That's pretty, pretty nice. And would you look at that? just as flush as these other ones. Oh, we're ready to throw her back together and move on to the other side. I went and jumped ahead here. I, uh, I cut this zip tie bunch of mess here and uh, put the caliper back on with the brand new bolts. These are 
the new ones and I had to get them with washers because they didn't have these but I tell you what trying to find a 15 millimeter socket out of the stuff that I had I didn't have luckily 5 eighths works but like it was almost stripping it and stuff you could see some of the marks on it but um this here with a washer this is three quarter and I do have three quarters so it makes it a whole lot easier right there that's uh that's the new one and down that one right there all right took some of this here uh thread locker permatex I ain't never used it but there was some on that one so I figured well these will probably need it too but other than that we're we're ready to go here and we're ready to zip her back together and head on over to the other side so this side is going to be a whole lot easier since the top one's missing I'll do the top then take out the bottom and then put the top in instead of having both off and then trying to throw it together and the rotor don't have to come off this side so this right here is all I was doing you have your bolt and then just throw some thread locker on it and that's really all you need you don't need much more than that Throw your washer on, then throw it in there. Now to recap and make sure I got everything the way it should be. I mean, I got to put air in this tire because that's that's soft. But all five lug nuts are on there. We got. Ouch! Yeah, my head can't fit in there. We got two new bolts in to hold that caliper in. We got all five lug nuts on this wheel, and the other two bolts on this side to hold this caliper in. That means. Last thing we gotta do, throw this here on there. Boom.